everybody, my name's Matt, and today it's Tuesday and I don't have my teeth in. Oh no. I guess that means it's gonna be a toothless Tuesday. Oh, you to see what I did there, you see? So what's up guys? Well, hey look, there's that awesome shirt that I wore for the first time last week that's now dirty as fuck. I mean, I washed it, it's just, you know. Got shit all over it. Just ate some food. About to smoke man and not a cigarette before we gotta go back into work. And uh another easy day at work. Thankfully. And uh I got tomorrow off. Well, technically, I only have the afternoon off, but when I get home tonight, I'm going to call back, and I'm going to take the whole day off. Yeah, boy. It's my buddy's brother's birthday tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. God, I'm so rude. But, uh, so we we going to go out some places for his birthday. Turn that to, to one of them. 21, man, I'm 25, so I feel old. Was doing some research, found a, an amp that I could possibly buy, but fortunately it's 230 some dollars, so it's uh, an MTX Thunder 500, which it gives you 500 watts RMS. Which is actually really good. Um, oh, well. It's not bad for an amp to be only that much. But give you 500 RMS, that's not bad. Um, the quick comparison, even though, like I said, most last night, most people probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, you can actually go to Walmart and buy a sub that's rated at 1,200 watts. But if you look at the box, it says that it's only 150 RMS. And, uh, and then you go and say that's like $120. So you go online and you go to like a sub company that actually makes subs, like not some cheap Walmart sub, like a real like MTX, Bulk Audio, Pioneer, well, Pioneer makes Walmart stuff too, but they make good shit as well. So on and so forth. If you go on there and find... For like the same amount of money, you can find a sub that pushes, you know, it's like a 200 watt RMS for the same money compared to one, you know, or like a 300 RMS for the same money compared to 150 or 100 RMS that the Walmart sub does. So, Walmart obviously sucks, they sell shit, shit. And the thing I was looking at was from MTX's website, but tonight I'm gonna go home again, drive into my backyard again, and see about possibly hooking my amp back up, testing a few more things on it, because I was thinking of it earlier today, that, um, that there could have been some issues, some things I didn't check for, things I might have did wrong, that would have not shown me that my sub was working or that my amp was working. So I'm going to try that just in the hopes that possibly my amp is fine and I was just being dumb. But uh, I had the feeling like it's not going to go that way. Found two more cases of pitch black. Well, I didn't find them. My parents found them on while well, they were shopping. So they grabbed me them, but I paid for them, you know, just grabbed them for me. So that's cool, I got my pitch black again. And, uh, I don't know who out there enjoys, um, Harry Potter, but, uh, I got two videos that I'm, tr I'm trying to re get recorded here, so hopefully sometime this week. Uh, who knows when they'll be up, but, uh, one of them's involved Harry Potter, because you can actually take a test, a real test. It's not like a fake test that some company made up. Like this is like a real test 
through the Harry Potter franchise that if you uh, if you take it it tells you what house you would be put into either Ravenclaw Hufflepuff Slytherin or Gryffindor and I'm gonna take that test and see what I get I'm really kind of excited to see where I would have been housed <coughs> but uh um So I got that, and then on top of that, there's some movie trailers out that I haven't seen. And uh, they're all for movies that I'm in love with, or I've loved the previous ones and stuff like that. So, probably do a reaction video to those. I just whistled, I just talked in the perfect... It went... And, uh, yeah. Got a buddy coming over tonight. Gonna wire his subs. Or wire his amp. Or, fuck. Head unit, if possible. I was talking about it a little bit yesterday, but now I'm actually gonna do it today. And, uh. Oh. Yeah. Gonna party hardy. I'm just joking. But, uh. Little lies are annoying. For some reason, got people in my life that they just can't tell the truth, and it's really annoying. Like it's, I don't know. And it, you know, if you were to confront them and ask them if they were lying or why they lie all the time, they'd tell you that they weren't lying and that they just didn't tell you the truth or that you know you didn't ask, so I didn't tell you and stuff like that. Just stupid stuff, but. It's like, why do you have to lie in the beginning? Like, what makes you think that I care enough that you have to lie and make shit up? Or leave facts out of stories because you don't want to have my reaction and stuff like that. That is not a good friend at all. That's a really shitty friend. And it's been going on for, you know, I've obviously complained in the past here kind of recently about having some really shitty friends one in particular and uh and now it's getting really annoying like I, I just don't even want to hang out anymore because it's just like how do I know what you're telling me is on a lie what you're telling me is truthful do you tell people do you talk shit about me behind my back because you talk shit about everybody else behind their backs I mean, it's just one of those things where I, I'm not really quite sure that this person understands what a friendship is. And or if they truly understand that, um, that they're doing more pushing away than they are keeping close by, I guess. But, unfortunately, guys, I have to go in for lunch. It's really hot outside. Kind of, yes, I did bring shorts. I was just literally going to say I really wished I would have brought in shorts today, but I have shorts, so never mind. So I'm going to have to run inside and throw these bad boys on real quick and see my ma hairy man legs. Um, I, I kind of showed you, or I kind of talked about it yesterday, mainly the whole fucking video. And you can't see anything, but, uh, there right there is a band-aid from where I got bitted by a dog and my hairy man legs that are along with that. So, yeah, there's that. So, I'm going to go. If you guys like this video, a like would be much appreciated. It's Toothless Tuesday. I've been talking with no teeth this whole time. Jeez, people. It's number eight. Who would have dunk? It's been eight Tuesdays since when I started this. It means it's two months, two months I've been doing Toothless Tuesday, which is pretty awesome because I, I wanted to see how long it would last for. And it's already lasted two months, and it seems like it's going to stay around, so we're going to keep it around. If you're new to this channel, you should subscribe to keep up with this awesome daily content. Not every day is Toothless Tuesday, but every Tuesday is. If you're already subscribed to this channel, you should share this video. Show other people how exciting Toothless Tuesday is. How I get to talk with no teeth. 
And I'm getting better and better and better and better and better at it. To the point that even I can tell what words I get better at saying. Fucking shut up, card. Jesus. Ah. But, uh, yeah. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. Tomorrow will be a little bit different of the vlog. If it's day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is for you, I want you to fucking enjoy this video. I want you to enjoy the time we just spent together. I really want you to, because if you don't, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of crying recently, and I can really do without using it, so please be nice. I'm just joking. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.